how would a gpt4 o open stack version would look like that is the question that we're going to answer with this video a hugging face user has put together a system bunch of open tools and they're calling it gpt4 o or chat gpt o open chatty the idea is that can you bring a bunch of open technologies like for example mistral for large language model and something else for image generation and something else for voice and put together a system that is like that works maybe just close enough to gpt4 o see the purpose of this video is not to tell you that you can use this completely instead of gpt4 o and uh, i already had a video with a lot of backlash on gpt4 o so i am not trying to say that you can replace this with gpt4 o but open ai being open ai that you don't get all the features all the time and sometimes you want like a secondary layer if you have ever built software you know that there is not only one endpoint you will always rely on when you are building a service you would always have like a secondary layer or a fallback layer like a fallback url i'm just saying that this stack whatever that they have built this open gpt 40 whatever it is you can probably get some inspiration from this to be that secondary layer and it also shows the potential of how the open technologies these days are that's exactly why i'm making this video again not to say that this is an open source alternative for gpt4 o gpt4 o is way superior people have put billions of dollars in it they've got one of the best researchers and engineers in the world but this is one man probably spent one day and then built this together so let's see what it is this solution is a gradio based solution and it has two components one is a super chat and the other one is a voice chat inside super chat you have got image chat image generation image classification and normal chat we are also going to jump into the source code and then see this but for now i have asked a question can you create create a picture of a candy castle and uh, this is the candy castle and i said write a poem about it and then as you can see it said in the heart of a whimsical world where dreams are made of sugar and spice blah 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 and it gives me the answer the poem actually it was beautiful and that's why i decided that i should actually make this video for in this castle of confectionery will find joy and peace i hope everybody finds joy and peace i'm going to refresh this and uh, ask a question that was asked during open ai demo so this is an equation mathematical equation uh, give me the step by step guide to solve this equation so this was already tested and uh, this was giving a good answer this is the equation 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 and i guess what 3 is 3 x is 1 right 3 into 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 now let's see what it answers so you can see the okay, okay solve the equation 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 following subtract 1 from both the side okay and uh, minus minus is gone 3x is equal to 3 then uh, 1 into 3x so divided by 3 then yeah it is not technically okay it's, it's giving the second step sorry my bad x is equal to 1 it gives a solution so this is a quick demo to show that the technology actually works and you can do lot other things so right now what you are seeing is i've given an input image this is like gpt4 vision and we are asking it to generate an output from the input image into the code uh, what is it like if you can see the features it create it takes text as an input text plus image as an input audio as an input and the possible outputs that it can create image create text create an audio as well it's i mean nothing is free in this world you need gpu to host it but uh, right now it's on uh, hugging phase 0 and it's also publicly available so once again like gpt4 o is like gemini a truly multi modal model this is not like that this is like what was happening with gpt4 turbo with chat gpt plus subscription this is almost like that future features are like chat with pdf video generation sequential image generation better ui so now jumping into the code let's look at the code in in itself and we'll get to know what kind of models that they are using i want to go to the file section and uh, if you go to the file section you can actually see that uh, there is an app.py file and if you go into the app.py file so if you ignore all the flash attention or all the other things one thing first immediately you would notice that one it uses mistral 8x 7 billion parameter model so mistral mixture of experts 8x 7 billion parameter model instruct model is 
first used. So you can see one of your inference or one of the engines in this is the Mistral model. And if you want to see the other model that you're using, if you like scroll down, you can see for the vision capabilities, computer vision capabilities or image understanding the for the multimodal capability, it uses Edifix. Uh, this is a model that was open sourced by Hugging Face some time back. There are better vision models available these days, but this model is also like one of the good models that are available. And uh, I think I covered this on the channel when it was released. So Edifix, the latest version of Edifix, Edifix 2, 8 billion chatty model is being used here for the vision component. So, so far we have seen you give text input, the text output that you get from this Mistral 8 x 7 billion parameter model. You give an image input that is processed through Edifix to 8 billion chatty model. And now when you go over and then see one other thing that you would notice also is that this has a speech to text system. So the speech, sorry, text to speech system and that actually comes from the streaming STT Nemo. So this Nemo is a model that was released by NVIDIA. So I guess this model would work only on NVIDIA machines. I've not tried it on my Mac locally. So uh, the speech to text and the text to speech. So speech to text is handled by something called Edge TTS, while the text to speech is handled by the Nemo model. So that is what the Nemo model is. And you basically at this point have like understanding of how it generates all the images. So you can see um, all the information that here and you can also see when you are being asked to create an image, uh, what do you do? So you can see all the examples that they've given here. And uh, yeah, so if you if you have an example, you can embed the example here. So that builds the total grade U UI that we are currently seeing here. So you can go here and then see and you also have the voice chat. I don't think the voice chat worked fine, but let me try. Who are you? I'm going to, okay, it is processing. I've just asked, who are you? It takes. Hello, I am Tony Stark. How can you help me as Jarvis today? Assistant, hello, Tony. I'm here to assist you in any way I can. I think uh, the voice input is not uh, uh, probably in the code. If you see, it is probably hard coded. You can see Tony Stark Jarvis. Yeah, you can see Jarvis. And uh, I don't think the voice capabilities are like um, perfectly, um, perfectly settled here in this particular code. But you can generally see that everything else kind of like works fine. And OpenAI GPT-4 is a really good system. But if you want to have a low cost version, um, probably like the privacy friendly that runs locally on your computer or on prem prob there is a hope that you can build solutions like this um, again it's not a free solution right now it runs on zero as you can see this is kind of an offering from hugging face for free gpu based on the queue and availability but if you want to run this on your own local machine then you need to have like powerful gpu for you to run it because you are dealing with a 7 billion parameter language model, another 7 billion or 8 billion parameter VLM vision language model. So there are a bunch of models that are involved. That's exactly why people go and start using GPT 4O. I hope this small video about the open stack of uh, GPT 4 individual components helped you understand something. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. See you on the video. Happy prompting.